Hey everyone, it's Elliot from LED Exclusive. How y'all doing? Today is going to be another exciting video. We're going to talk about LED lighting strips and how you can solder them on your own. It can be a freaking pain in the butt to solder. I've lost sleep over these LED strips because I haven't been able to solder them properly. If you've ever done it before, you know exactly what I'm saying. So there's a little technique that I use that makes things a lot easier. So stay tuned, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to make those strips look awesome. Oh, by the way, if you like what's behind me, all those LED lighting strips, I have a video on that. I'll link in the description below, so check that out. Anyway, let's get started. We're going to need a few things, a few basic things. Everyone needs a swan, okay? Now this swan is the most important tool for this job. You know why? It has a little mouth and that's where you're gonna hold the LED strip. You can do something similar, but you know, the swan is good luck. Okay, we're also gonna need some wire cutters, strippers, for my other strippers. You'll need solder, heat shrink, well, you can use tape, but I have heat shrink. I have a torch here, the test battery, my soldering iron right here, which you can either use uh, one that plugs in the wall, butane one, electric, kind of whatever, just as long as the tip is somewhat small. LED strips, now these are RGBW, or sorry, RGB LED strips. You can get RGBW, depending on what you want to use. You'll need some wiring, so this is a four core wiring. You can use the stuff that they give you, or you can buy an extra length, which is like five meters at a time, and it's pretty cheap. This stuff just is a bit thicker, so I prefer this over the other stuff that they, that they give you. I'm gonna show you exactly what it's gonna take to solder these LEDs on here and do, uh, to come out somewhat confident in how you're gonna do this on your own. Now that we're somewhat set up, we're gonna go ahead and just take our RGB strip and you're gonna see on these strips, see a little gold bar that goes across with a scissor mark. Right in that scissor, right where that gold bar is, it's gonna have a little black dotted line across and that's where you're able to cut to utilize any part of the strip that you want. If you cut outside of that, that line, you know, the LED strip will not work. So you wanna make sure to cut in between that line. So if we simply, Take our cutters, cut it right there. See, I'm cutting right in between. Peel it back. You notice if you're not careful, you'll just peel up the back side, not the actual silicon. Okay. So then I cut it. I cut a, a decent sized chunk off that to make it as easy as possible. you'll see the BRGN 12 volt. So from there, what I find works best is I'm actually, instead of just tinning this, normally what you do, I'm actually gonna put a bit of solder right on the tip of my soldering iron. And I'm just gonna touch that area that I wanna get soldered. And it just, it sticks right to it. Just real quick. And you notice, if you do it the other way, where you try to tend this piece of uh, metal on it, it'll actually end up pretty much burning out the contact because you just they're just so thin. So be very mindful, but also it will um, it, it just will not stick, and so you kind of have a one one opportunity chance at this. So now we have those. We, you can see all the beads. We got one, two, three, four beads. So now from there. We're gonna go ahead and tin our wire. So I'm gonna strip back my wire here. And I usually try to make them as short as possible because if they're too long, you just end up, you can possibly end up shorting out the other contacts, which you don't want. So I just try to keep them as short as possible and sometimes I'll even trim them down. So I'll just, Tend these guys. Just like that. So these are all nice and tinned. Now, because this wire is a different color, I'm gonna go off my standard wiring. Um, so I'm gonna do yellow as the 12 volts. So then I simply just gonna heat up the con 
heat up the uh, solder on the yellow. And we're gonna do the G as green. Okay. And you just gotta be mindful of the, see that comes off that easy, but you gotta be mindful of that solder in between the contact because it's really easy to get caught up in there. So, barely touch it on. Now if you have a smaller tip and it even work better, but this, it does the job. So then from there, we're gonna do the green. So just barely. Green, it's on there. And then we're gonna do red. And when I'm touching it, I'm just touching the wire and the solder. I'm not actually touching the LED strip. I think that's very important, or else it can easily just come undone. And then, from there, I'm gonna do the last one, which B is, I'm just gonna use this black. And there we go. You can see they're all on there. They're not the most beautiful solders, so if I wanted to take a little bit more time, I could have probably done it better but that's okay. Um, it just takes practice in order to get this perfectly. And if I was using the other wire that they provide, it's usually a bit thinner, which would make it easier. So now, after I've gotten that part done, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut my heat shrink. So I'm just gonna slide this heat shrink over. And that's just gonna go in between the first light and, and the joints that have soldered. It's that easy. Now, sometimes if you use glue-filled heat shrink, it works a bit better because then you know those contacts have glue or silicon in between, which is really handy. Um, but other than that, it's, it's, it's that easy. It's just the, the technique of how you do it. And I've practiced a lot of times and, and screwed up a lot of times. So for me, this is what worked best. Now let me know what, what you guys do and what works best for you. So typically you could connect this to a controller, which like it be a Bluetooth controller, an RGB just with a remote. Um, there's also Wi-Fi ones. Um, right now I'm just gonna show you, uh, just you can change, you can just set it to one color if you wanted to. Look, we can look at, we can go just to blue. We can go to, we can go to red. Looks like orange in the camera. And we can also go to green. So you can choose kind of whatever color you want if you just want to wire it on one, or you can use the controller to change the colors and the functionality of it. All right, that wraps this video up to a close. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. And if you think that you know anybody that would like this kind of video as well, hit subscribe or share the video. Now, I'm going to be uploading a new video every week. Now, this is going to be based on different topics, so from LEDs to car audio to electronics, travel, etc. There's some cool stuff coming ahead, and this is just the beginning, but going to be a really, really big channel. So, I want you guys to be a part of this. And if you did enjoy the video, please subscribe. Also, hit that like and share button. Comment in the section below if you guys have solder LEDs, if you had experience with this, and maybe your techniques and, and what you guys do to successfully solder uh, and, and do these LED projects. But anyway, you guys can check me out on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at LED Exclusive. And I hope you guys have a fantastic night. It's been, uh, it's been an honor once again, and I'll see you guys soon.